Uh, are thousands of people, Jews, Zionists, who are members probably of the Bnaibrit, for instance. Bnaibrit is the uh, Jewish masonry, who occupy high level in all the societies. I mean, in, you can imagine uh, 5,000 5, Zionists in New York, only in the business, uh, in the business area. 5,000 Sayanim in Los Angeles in the production area, in the artistic area. And you can, in, 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 uh, in France, in London, you can imagine a 1,000 Sayanim in the medias. You can imagine, and they receive orders from the Mossad, from a department of the Mossad called the War Department. And it, they they work for the Mossad, that mean, it means that all these people who, who have their work, who, who work normally, they are citizens, I mean, they, they, they work in a bank, they are politic, political, they, 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 they are publishers, but when the Mossad call them and tell them, look, I, I need an, an information, I need, for instance, I need that all the Sayanim in, in all over the world say that this person, for instance, the Secretary General of the United Nations, has said something anti-Semitic. And you, you see all over the world, in Europe, uh, in New York, the medias, you have the impression, I mean, uh, when I discovered that, I, I understood. I mean, it's it's like when when you light the, the light on, you know, because suddenly you 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 open a newspaper, you listen to radio, you hear a politician. Everybody, everybody says the secretary general of the United States says, said something anti-Semitic. I mean, the poor guy. Uh, uh, and why? Because the Mossad gave the order to do that.